Welcome to AmericanHunter.org. On this week's tip, I'm going to talk about the challenges of hunting near feeding areas. Not only do you have to know where to place your stands, but the even bigger challenge is how you're going to get out of that stand at the end of legal shooting time. So the next thing I want to talk about is where you're going to place your tree stands during this time frame, and that's where the real challenge comes in. I mean, it can be tricky figuring out what they're feeding on, but that's doable. You can figure that out. The real challenge is figuring out how you can hunt those feeding areas without educating the deer that are using them. And it can be a one hit wonder, and that's the problem with hunting food sources. You can get in there for that first hunt, everything's good, you get in clean, and then the deer start to mill around, you got a few deer in the food plot, or maybe there's a couple of them around this oak tree that your tree stand is next to, and they're eating on acorns, and now it starts to get dark, and you gotta get out of there. And there's no easy way to exit a tree stand right on the edge of a feeding area without alerting the deer that are using that feeding area that you were there. And that means it's gonna be a lot tougher to hunt that same area again in the near future. So you could have your whole first week hunting strategy go down the tubes the very first night. So we gotta be really careful about how we set up in these feeding areas. One thing I like to do whenever possible is to pick a trail leading to it. Rather than hunting on the food source itself, you can have your tree stand maybe as much as 40 or 50 yards back away from the feeding area. You still get that concentrated movement you know, maybe you don't pick up every deer that's feeding there, but you also have a way that you can climb down out of your tree stand and sneak out the back door at the end of legal shooting time. So keep that in mind. Uh, another option, and this is something that we've done quite a bit and I really love it on this farm, is to hunt staging areas. And for us, a staging area is just a really small, I call them micro plots, you know, anywhere from a quarter of an acre, uh, maybe even up to a whole acre, that's adjacent to a larger feeding area. So now you've got the deer that come out, they stage in this area, which might be clover in our case, uh, feed for a few minutes and then move on through and move out into the primary feeding area. In the process of doing that, then they vacate the staging area and you can climb down and you can get out of there pretty easy. So that's another really good strategy for the first week of hunting. Uh, the third strategy is to have some kind of a diversion that allows you to climb down and get out of there at the end of legal shooting time. So basically you've got to bump the deer out of there, but you've got to do it in such a way that you haven't really spooked them and you haven't caused any permanent damage. They don't associate danger with your tree stand location or with something permanent to the plot. Somebody drives up, for example, on a four-wheeler uh, in, in the edge of the field and the deer run off. They don't associate that with you. May, they might listen for another four-wheeler the next night, but they're not gonna stop using that area. Or it's a pickup truck or whatever it might be. And we've done this a bunch and it really does work. In fact, you can even go sometimes repeatedly two or three nights in a row like this before the deer start to slow down in their feeding activity in that food source. Uh, I always arrange for somebody to drive up, you know, stop short, slam the doors, make some noise, you know, maybe even, even fired up a chainsaw one time. You want to give the deer early warning so you're not just going to surprise them all of a sudden, you know, and spook them off the plot. Thanks for joining me this week. I'll see you right back here again next week for the next tip at AmericanHunter.org.